I'm getting ready for bed, but exciting purchase today. I got this, a cheese making kit. Nice. I am dividing a subset of my day out tomorrow for cheese making fun. And the rest of it will be spent taking my econ exam and getting Frank's balls dropped off. Yes, you heard me. At 7 a.m., I'm taking Frank in He's getting some shots and a surgery that I'm sure he will not be happy with. Last week, I felt weird, like out of sorts, and I gave myself a break. I just took like a week off from the gym. I stayed in when I didn't feel like going out. It's really hard for me to just wind down, and I think that's true for a lot of people, and I feel a lot better now that I did. I have been very productive. It's only Tuesday but my head is in a whole different space. Pew, 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 pew. Vegan cheese, econ, Frank's balls. What's next? Any other big things? Ah, a lot of you talk about how poorly I am protecting myself with all these windows in my space, and I hear you. But, I bought these. They're window covers. So I have to cut out 20 plus one foot by one foot squares and put them on every single panel, like this. Big week ahead. You excited to get your job today? You have no idea what's coming. to make cheese. I also grabbed some cashews. I found this Moroccan red pepper sauce called Harissa. I figured that would make a good spicy cashew cheese. It would add some nice flavor. Okay, so we have a thermometer, some cheese salt, some citric acid, oh, cheese cloth, probiotic tablets, so I'm thinking of making something similar to mozzarella. They don't give you instructions for nut cheese. This little booklet is catered to cow's milk or goat milk. So before I read this, we have to make cashew milk. But before we do that, did you notice this shirt? Smells delicious, washed it last night. I'm gonna, I'm gonna touch on that a little bit more. Follow me. <laughs> the only way I get my clothes to smell as good as they do is Drops, who conveniently is the sponsor of this video. Come along with me as we go through my laundry routine. My laundry routine is simple with Drops. With the low waist, small detergent pods, I know that my clothes aren't getting any residue left on them because these are perfectly portioned. Laundry is the last thing I want to be focusing on as a college student. But with Drops, I know my loaves are getting done right every time. They're free from artificial colors, parabens, dyes, and they're also vegan and plant-based, so my clothes are being taken care of. Not only am I in 
ensuring cleanliness, but I also know that I'm making eco-friendly decisions because all of their products are recyclable. It minimizes single-use plastic and it smells great. College is stressful and the last thing I want to be worrying about is my laundry. With drops, it's simple. So, let's get back to the cheese. is done. So now I am just going to put some raw cashews into this bowl. So with cashews, cashew cheese, nut milk, anything you're using that involves blending cashews, you want them to be pretty soft before you do. You can do this overnight or you can do this the fast way by boiling some water and soaking them for about 15 to 20 minutes. Obviously the longer the better. But I didn't really think ahead last night, so, you know, I'm gonna leave this here for 30 minutes. Then we'll get to, we'll get to nut blending. blended cashew mixture into a pot and basically what we're going to do now is curdle it. If you were making cashew milk you just put this mixture through a cheesecloth and whatever liquid comes out is drinkable. As for cheese though we want to do the opposite so we don't need the liquid we need whatever curdles when we add these strange substances such as citric acid you'll need one teaspoon of citric acid. And you'll also need a fourth of one of these rennet tablets. So they look like this. Pop that in there. It's getting really thick. So we've reached the right temperature. I'm just gonna move this to this back burner once it cools down. It'll be like a really thick paste. Maybe an hour. In the meantime, I'm gonna go grab Frank. See how he's doing. Hi, Frank. Frank's back. He's sitting right over there. It's officially time to strain our nut cheese. A little hair tie here. I mean this is going to take a few hours to straighten because all the liquid slowly just seeps out. It's already five o'clock so um, I think I'll just stop here for now. Carry this on tomorrow. It's been a big day for all of us. Wait, try it. I don't say yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> we are on cheese stage two. So I'm just gonna carefully remove the hair tie. All this is, is cashews and citric acid, so it doesn't taste that great, but we're gonna fix that. First ingredient, this spicy harissa sauce. I'm also gonna throw in a little bit of nutritional yeast, a little bit of salt, some pepper, some ground mustard, some onion powder, Maybe a little garlic powder as well. Here's an overhead view of my cheese. My only worry is that this is really thin. It's giving me cream cheese, but I want it to be cuttable, sliceable, I should say. So I think I'm gonna cook it down, chill it, and then we can do like a 
celebratory charcuterie board. Get here. A little spicy, honestly the softest, creamiest cheese. Nut cheese, nut spread, I've had. It has all the necessary elements of cheese, you know? It has some probiotics in there, it's spreadable, it might be meltable, and it's good. Success. They're still really dead, but I'm in the process of reviving them. Just wanted to wish you well. See you next week. Happy fall, it's 69. Finally feels like pumpkin season. I'm gonna run some errands. <sighs> Be glad you still have your balls if you do, because not everyone does. Frank says he loves you as well. Bye.